Welcome to the Buffalo Brotherhood. This is the Bobcast, our weekly podcast. This is episode 112. I'm Ryan, and the other two guys are going to join me here in just a second. I'm just jumping in here to let you know that uh, we sat down to record a, our podcast this week, and we were going to do, or we did do, a podcast uh, where we played a video game called Golf with Friends. It's an early access putt, mini putt-putt game. We had a lot of fun, and really, it's the... Uh, we really enjoyed it, so uh, we recorded it, but then after it was over, the mic kept kind of going, and uh, we were talking all about the Steam sale and sort of um, impact of video games and so forth, and we sort of enjoyed the conversation so much, uh, it was just like, well, this this seems like a podcast in itself, so what you're going to hear, uh, as soon as I stop talking now, is you're going to hear us jumping in to uh, the conversation, so it's going to seem a little jarring, but because this had to do with the Steam sale and the Steam sale, Steam sale ends here in the next few days. We thought it'd be important we get this one out to you first. Look for the Golf with Friends uh, podcast coming up next week. Uh, I'm going to say it's 112, but really it'll be 113, and you'll probably hear me jump in like this and explain that. Maybe, maybe not. Most likely not, now that I think about it. Uh, but thank you guys so much for liking and listening, and uh, enjoy the show. That was See, fun. That was worth it, right? Yeah. And, uh, we can record uh, ourselves talking about all these server names. No, no. Oh, okay. Should yeah, we rehash good. the server name? Well, I mean, I probably not. Probably not. <laughs> let let let's leave some mystery, shall we? All right. So, so that's... Do, you, do you recommend people buy this game? I think so, especially if there's gonna be more to come because it's still alpha. This is still early release, so. I think if you have friends to play with, then well, yes. I just but wonder how it's gonna take the guy to get it done since it's just like one fellow. It sounds like from their patch notes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, I was dropping the kid off the babysitters and I messed up. So <laughs> I forgot to push through that one fix. So well, it'll be a, be a couple minutes. I mean, Banished was a was a good game. That that started off with just one guy. Really? Uh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, so I mean, I don't think it's I don't think it's beyond the realm of possibility, especially considering, I mean, the assets are all done here. He's yeah, gonna make true. a ton of money. Uh, yeah, he has. we bought this from Steam so. sold. I don't know. Uh, does anybody want to click back on their Steam and look at that? I don't want to necessarily. I guess I can. I can. I can quit the game. Here. Are we done with golf with friends? Well, I it, well we could play again, but we probably should start a new episode if we're gonna do that. But. Um, so I go to the store page. Where do I see how many he has sold? Um, I don't know. I, what? I don't know. I thought, I thought that's what you just said. You were gonna find out. Well, I I didn't know if I could look and see. I don't. I mean, I can I see don't how know many. If you can see how many copies? Can you leave a review if you own it, or if you don't own it? I don't think so. Okay, so the reviews are very positive of overall 2,241 views. So at least probably 2,500 copies. That's good, right? If you can only leave, if you can only leave a review, if you own the game, then, uh, then that's probably right. I, I'm, I mean, there, of course there's a lot more people that probably bought it than have left reviews. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah. I think you can only leave a review if you own the game. It came out uh, January of this year, so it hasn't been out very long. I, th I think it's got a lot of positive, re positive very, press. Very positive. And like I said, it's yeah. it's simple. Twelve people. Holy cow! What? I couldn't imagine 12 people at the same time. Well, if you turn, like, your collision off and everyone can just sort of all go at the same time. Well, that ruins the fun. Or you leave the collision on and all 12 of you go at the same time. Well, he said that their peak server traffic was 2,463 players. That the, That's the most they reached since right, the summer sale. Right now, currently, excluding me, because I'm already off, I'm already out of the game. There's 1,847 people playing currently right now. And I wonder how that's that crazy. compares to, like, Rocket League right now. Or Dota. Well, Dota's going to be nuts. How um, can you see how many are playing it? 
I'm on the community tab. Oh. So community. Then you can, when you're on community, what do you look at there? Up at the top, there's 804 people playing Fishing Planet right now, for example. Up at the top on community? Okay, so I, I click on community. It's got community activity. Okay. All the recent games I've played is up there. Oh, recent games played. 25,000 people playing The Forest. See? No, that's new screenshots. Oh, okay. Oh. Rocket How do you... League. So then you click on it, and up at the top. So there's 26,000, uh, 26.6 thousand people playing Rocket League at this moment, and it's had some major lag issues this week. The Forest, 3,137. 3, about, about to be at least two more. Probably. Uh, three more if we can get Doug to do it. He ain't going to play it. He's, he's scared. Just, he's scared of it. He's the, scared of it. scared of the game. He doesn't want to be frightened. That's right. No, he doesn't want to man up is what it is. Three, well, I'm happy I talked you into it. I'm I, I, And to be honest, I can't play it without a buddy. I mean, it's, it's difficult to play. We're talking about the game The Forest, so if you're not sure what we're talking about, let me be clear here. Not the, the, the mini golf level that we just played, but uh, The Forest is a survival game. Um, it's as the lone survivor of a passenger jet crash, you find yourself in a mysterious forest battling to stay alive against a society of cannibalistic mutants. Build, explore, survive in this terrifying first-person survival horror simulator. Okay, so let me just say that on our YouTube channel, going up for the next five days, I've got five different videos um, of a sequence called Subnautica, which is the very similar um, opening um, survival game survival crafting game these all all these games are just they just owe themselves to minecraft yeah i mean that's what it is it's it's minecraft with better graphics yeah better graphics i mean a little bit more of a um a it's narrative. more more survival than building i mean you can build but you're you're limited to what you can do i mean you can build your own home and stuff like that but and you can design things yourself but there's still a lot more limitations to what you can design compared to what you can do in say minecraft so what's a what's an what's the other game where you're on the ocean that has the exact same opening sequence um stranded stranded deep holy cow i don't know i'm looking i'm on the community page and i'm looking at this fortress that this guy has built that is insane He's built a fort, basically. Oh, I see it. The very first one. I wonder if I can... Yeah. Here, I'll switch just over here to screen. There's nothing wrong. There's, there's nothing somebody can get for my... To hack me or anything, right? I don't think so. There we go. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're showing. I'm just showing the community page. <laughs> there we go. I mean, so there's that artwork that Mike's talking about. This is the game The Forest. The legs with the yellow letters. It's currently eleven ninety nine on the Steam sale. Um, yeah. Yeah. So there's there's that image. Here's the snow biome. Somebody got a picture of a lightning strike, it looks like, or something. Don't go too far down. Don't want to give too much away? Uh, not only that, but there's some... Uh, uh, the game is very graphic, so oh. don't play it in front of your kids. And there's uh, technically, I guess you would call it nudity. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't go too far down, Ryan. I didn't. I but, uh, Good yeah, sense. there's some, some stuff it'll give away down there, so... Okay, but you it said, is you said you're the uh, lone very, survivor, very but I haven't given up on Timmy. I think Timmy. I played still, it. Uh, I started playing it by myself before Ryan jumped in with me, and uh, it is. If you got a good set of headphones, the sound in it is fantastic, and it will make you jump. It 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 did it to me. In, I I'm fairly certain, even though after I spent all that time up on that rock and I was watching just them while you were doing something, um. I still think that they spawn in behind you. I don't think I, I think they cheat. Um, I'm gonna no. I'm gonna pull up the Subnautica stuff. I think. Just to. No, I won't. I I, I swear they cheat, dude. I think they have to cheat. I think they just hmm. pop in sometimes because I've had guys, I've been completely safe, and then I've had guys directly behind me. And it um, was very scary. I don't. I don't know. 
I'm trying to decide what other game I want to buy. I want to buy another game during the sale, and I just don't know what I want. Yeah, I could see so, that. I I want to I want to buy another game around fifteen bucks. I just don't know what to get. Um, there's there's so much. It's just I don't know if I should do it by like savings. How about Flame and Flood? That looks kind of cool. Yeah. It's got a really cool soundtrack. Yeah, it if does. you watch the uh, if you watch the uh, the trailer for it, it's it looks really really cool. The Escapist. Um, I don't know. I think I'm thinking maybe like a triple A title myself personally. You think so? Uh man, I don't know. Witcher, Fallout. See, I probably Grand I don't Threat know. Auto. Is Fallout is the um the expansion? How about for the Fallout? Bioshock triple pack that received a lot of press yesterday? The bio. So all three Bioshock games? All three games? Bioshocks with, I believe if I understand this right, the uh, you're buying it and then just like in um, the Skyrim, you will get the updated versions or the upgraded versions when they come out. See, yeah, I don't know. But all three games are less, are less than $11. Far so. Harbor. Oh, man. Did we lose Doug? I don't know. No, I'm here. It just has nothing to add to the conversation. Far Harbor's only eighteen bucks. Games. Far Harbor is only eighteen bucks. But that's and not Nuka, a game within itself. I know, but I mean I've put enough time into Fallout that I could I wouldn't I wouldn't it's a huge map and so is uh Nuka World when it comes out. Just get the season pass for fifty bucks. Just buy you. That's the AAA title you buy. Arslan, yeah. the Warriors of Legend. I thought about Shadows of Mordor, too. That looks really good. Also, he, you have a Steam Mordor, Link. So. What's that? You have a Steam Link, so that makes things different. So you can play it like a console. Yeah. I have to sit What's at my work desk if I'm going to play. Your work desk is right beside your TV, though. That's true. I could buy XCOM, too. It's only 35 bucks. There you the, go. The, the Steam sale will go on through the 4th of July, correct? Yeah, it's through Monday. So um, so if you haven't been involved in it and you get this the podcast flame and the tomorrow. Flood, it's really Hala. good. What would you say, Doug? Brawlhalla. Oh, yeah. That's a free-to-play, right? You just, you're just you buying extra packs? I'm just scrolling, yeah. I'm just scrolling like crazy. Man, 10.51 for all three Bioshock games. Yeah, that's what I told you, dude. It was less than 11 bucks. That is such a good deal. It is, if you like those games. Have you played any of them before? I played the demo of the first Bioshock, and I thought it was really cool. Um, it was hard, but it was really cool. But, man, Infinite supposedly is a, a video card tester game. I mean, it's supposed to be just beautiful. Even still? What's the satellite rain? Have you heard anything about that? No. Satellite Rain? A real-time class-based strategy game set in an open-world cyberpunk city. Co-op multiplayer. Opt-in beta. What's it called? Satellite Rain. Recent overall and recent... Uh, hello? Hello? Hey, check it out. My Discord stopped working. Uh, let me... Uh, oh, there satellite it is. wrong? Yep. My Still disc satellite. They don't even notice. It's okay, guys. There Just it is. keep going. Rain is an R-E-I-G-N. Hmm. That looks cool. What did you say about Discord? Uh, Discord stopped recording, or stopped picking you guys up for a minute, but it's all right. I vamped, and... We got your back. Oh, okay. We didn't miss anything. You guys were just trying to spell satellite rain. Yeah. <laughs> um, it looks like XCOM. A minor update to the co-op. 
beta today. I'm always watching the trailer. Not me. Okay. Doug's I was looking at it. Oh, yeah, because he doesn't have the headphones. Nope, I haven't bought the headphones yet. It's amazing he doesn't get feedback. Like, I I get feedback if I do that. Yeah, but he's not using a big mic like we are. He's using, like, a USB mic. Hmm. Yeah, it, it looks a lot like an XCOM type game. Yeah. I'm reading some articles know. here, like, from BGR and... and... PC Monthly and so forth, just about what they say about the current year's um, Steam sale, uh, but all the articles are, right now are just like... Some um, people are upset about it. I, everybody here is praising it. It's, it's a less stressful sale system. Um, I don't think you're getting as... But I don't think there are as, a, as amazing deals. Well, I do agree that. Like I mean, before... You're not digging through and finding something for two bucks that nobody else knows about. I mean, you're just. What's this? The Gallery, Episode 1, Call of the Star Seed. Your missing sister. Let me see this. Your missing sister, an ancient machine, and a sinister presence await within the gallery, an episodic built for VR game inspired by dark 80s fantasy films. Step into a VR adventure with groundbreaking new game mechanics in a forgotten world filled with bizarre characters and wonder. Huh. The Gallery Episode 1 Call of the Star Seed. Huh. That's kind of neat. Too bad I don't have a VR, but that would be really cool. So which, which VR would you be interested in having? The Vive or the Oculus? I think the Vive because there's more games supported for it right now. Mm -hmm. Since um, it's linked with Steam so much that I just uh, read an article that said that the Oculus is actually going to take its DRM off a lot of their games, so that so in hopes that though I think I think to be honest, it's in hopes that they'll be able to tie into some of the the Vive games as well as you know, so they can get into the uh, Steam Store a little bit more. HTC made a, a, a smart move by linking up with with Steam. Yeah, and I think the other thing, too, that HTC did, which I don't know if Vive has done as well, but do you remember all the early videos of, of um, all the early videos of, of the Oculus is because it, it did two different cameras, one for each eye. There was no, like, desktop support. There was no way to sort of um, to view what the person in the VR was viewing without seeing sort of this separated dual screens at the same time. Did you ever see mm -hmm. the early captures of that? No. Okay, well, um, what Vive has done is because it's coming out from one screen, it's essentially just, it's responding to your movement. It's, you know, it's not it's not two cameras projecting into each eye. Uh, it allows you to essentially show all the games can be played just on your desktop as well as well as in your in, in your head or yeah, in your but VR th that system. probably the the two screen thing gives it a more three D effect though. Oh, I, I don't doubt that, but um, you're losing some of the VR to it for that. Um, the Vive has 307 games that are able to be played on it, and the Rift has 150. When you search just by HTC Vive or Oculus Rift on Steam. So Rift 150, um, 307 for the Vive. Oh, that's cool. I mean, it's still like a lot so of those games are double. like a lot of those games are like the lab games or whatever. Yeah, but there's a lot of cool ones. I is mean, um, it'd is, be cool to do keep talking. No one explodes like that, where you have to move it with your hands and stuff. Is Fishing Planet going to be... Fishing Planet is, uh, I believe it already is, a Vive game. Man, that would be so nice. I was talking about that when I was playing it today. Um, Let me see here. Let me look down. Uh, it doesn't have it listed, but I thought originally it was designed for that. 
could be wrong though. Planet. No, it doesn't have it. As it's not listed on the side, but they could be working towards that. Yeah. It's early access, so I mean they could still be building it for that. Mhm. Mm so, Doug, did you find any games you're going to get? I mean, I've already bought uh, Armello, Banner Saga 2, Gauntlet. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if there's any more that I'm going to get. I don't know. I wish you could view by the number. Like, I'm trying to think what I bought on this sale so far. Okay. I bought the rest of um, the King um, King's Quest. I bought the season pass for King's Quest because I played the first season of that, which I like that because my wife likes to watch me play it. She, she likes to sit while I'm downstairs on the Steam Link and she'll watch me play it with a controller and we'll talk about the puzzles and kind of do it together. It's kind of fun. The game is incredibly hilarious too. I mean, it is really funny. Um, I oh, I also know. did Crusader Kings too. I forgot to See, I tried that one yet. Since you've bought it, it makes me want to buy Crusader Kings, but I wish you would have bought Uni Uni Europe Universalis instead. Cause I've, everything I've always read was Europa Universalis. Excuse me. Everything I've always read is is that game is a little bit easier to get into than Crusader Kings. Huh. Um, but um, I guess I bought the Forest. That was my other one that I bought. Yeah. But I have so many games I, mean, I haven't only, played. Uh, Ten bucks for that. Uh, for the Universalis for eleven dollars if you get the Extreme Edition. Um, just looking at Paradox real quick. Paradox Games. Yeah, it's you know, Europa you Universal. Pack. They, they've got a Paradox Games Platinum Pack. It's 75% off right now. That's crazy. Europa Universalis. Four? Yep. Is this another... It's, it's it's grand strategy, yeah. It's bigger it, than Civ. It's bigger than Civ. I wouldn't. I couldn't do it. It's, I um, barely. I barely control Civ well, like barely. So I know anything more advanced than that, and I'm just gonna get lost and probably not enjoy myself. See, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. Um, Crusader Kings 2 as well, just like the whole like the families and the kingdoms and so forth. Um, their latest game that they came out with was, was Stellaris. Um, oh yeah, that, yeah, that huge thing. Like yeah, But and there I, really wasn't that good of a deal on it. It was only 10% off because it's, like, it's a newer game, I guess. Yeah, it's brand new. Um, so that might be one. Yeah, it's only 10% off. It's 35 bucks instead of 40 Um... Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, not even. Well, Doug and I both have um, Master of Orion, so like sort of fills that galactic itch. Yeah, that I. I don't know, just something I can't. So much thought process that I just can't keep up with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's like those games just get so big. Have you seen Renowned Explorers? That's like uh, a Civ style. I've seen it, but I, I think it's more of a um, sort of a catchy, like a glitchy um, Civ game. I mean, it's not... You have it on your wish list. Yeah, I know. I, I kind of want it. I want to try it out. I thought it would be fun. Especially because mm -hmm. I think there's a multiplayer element to it. It doesn't say it has nope, it's single player. I think that's why I ended up not getting it. Yeah, it's just single player. But I mean, that's weird. I don't know. Look, interesting though. Like a dumb, look like a dumbed down version of Civ. That's right. 
Don't don't dumb it down. Let's just I'll probably do the Steam controller and Link. Why well, it's thirty seven percent off. Uh, that's thirty five bucks each, though. So talk us you through can that. Buy Mike. both in a bundle for sixty two ninety eight. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, that that'd be right. So it's a little cheaper to buy them together. That's not bad. That's that's a good deal, because I pay fifty bucks for my Steam Link, and so that puts the game controller at thirteen dollars. That's a really good deal. I still think you need to do the Civ Six and Steam controller. The Civ Six, but the problem with Civ Six, you're gonna probably want to buy the if you do that. We're going to want the deluxe version, I would assume. So you're looking at $108 there. I yeah. just don't really... I don't know that I would play that's, Civ uh, that's, a, as a console. That, that's only with the controller, though. That doesn't come with the link. Yeah. So for $108, you get the game and the controller and not the the link, the Steam Link itself. It's 62 bucks for both of them. Probably, that's a pretty good deal. That's, that's actually a hell of a good deal. I mean, that... It says it's thirty. I mean, it's regular price. That's a hundred dollars. Jeez, Mike, get it out. What? Get it out. Get it out. Get what you, out? You got very excited there for a second, or maybe my, I, maybe there was some lag or something. I don't know, but thirty thirty five bucks for a Steam controller. That's it's actually less than that when it, when you consider. Well, that, when when you get them together, yeah, they're thirty five a piece, and then you get an additional ten percent off. So. All of it together, sixty-two. So it's thirty-one bucks a piece. I mean, if you have, because the way I do it is, I play with my Steam Link, and then I have a, I paid eight bucks on eBay for a knockoff Xbox 360 wireless adapter that you would a PC wireless adapter. I paid like eight bucks for mine, and then I just use my wireless 360 controller. So the problem with that is, is that it, it works on any game that accepts a 360 controller, but the Steam Link or the Steam Controller, the plus to it is that it has the ability to um, customize. So you can set like mouse and keyboard buttons and hotkeys and all this stuff to those touchpads that are there. So supposedly, there's videos of guys playing Civ 5 on it and and it, the guy, there's one guy that does a really good job of showing his hand while he's playing the game and showing the game. And he's doing fantastic. Like he's got it down. The one that I wanted to see it because they tout to be able to play cities with it. And I thought that would be kind of cool. But the problem with a lot of those games are is that the the display on them, even when you're playing with a controller, when you set back away from a TV, they're, they're not designed for that TV setup. So you're so far away that some of the font sizes are so small that it's kind of hard to see. So that, that that's what I kept running into. Because I was using my Steam Link and playing keyboard and mouse games where I was using a keyboard and mouse. But to see some of the icons, is just, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. I can see that. My issue with, um, like, I don't, I don't know that I would ever need to buy the Steam Links the way my computer's set up right here in the living room. Yeah, no, you wouldn't need that. You're, you're set up where you can just run an HDMI cord from your computer and then play it to the TV. Yeah, I, uh, I'll just buy a Vive. It's cool. So they're on sale. They're only eight hundred. Yeah, what bucks. is that? It, yeah, that's not. Well, seven ninety nine to be honest. I mean, you could do sixty five and get a Steam Control too. What's that? Sixty five. What, what are you talking about? XCOM two and the Steam Controller together, sixty five ninety eight. Yeah, I saw that, but it's really you're not getting XCOM two, much cheaper than what you're getting it right now. Anyway. Yeah, because on sale. So I'll see what happens. I'm, I'm not gonna rush to buy anything anyway, just because I want to kind of wait and see. I mean, I'm 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 done with the Steam sale. I've got everything I want to get. Uh, XCOM Two would just be the only thing that I'd really be interested in at this point. And I'm in no rush, I guess. Um, AAA title would have been nice, or could be nice, but again, no rush. I'll probably just wait till October and get Civ Six. Yeah, and that's kind of what I'm thinking too, to be honest. It's only a couple months. Yeah, we got plenty of stuff to play. Tons of stuff in the forest. That's kind of that's kind of neat about as I look at my library and I see some of these games that are still in, in development. And I know we're like, we could actually break this into two episodes and do 
do this is our second episode. Play golf with friends, cut and edit it, and then just do, do this it. In two weeks. I will. Um, but um, the the these games that are in early development, like the Forest, like Fishing Planet, like um, I'm I'm scrolling through my list, like Masters of Orion, uh, Golf with Friends that we just got, um, Subnautica that I, that's on my list, The Hunter that's on my list. All these games here are continuing to be developed, so they're not done as games right now. So I enjoy playing them. Uh, well, speaking of this, don't let me forget Faster Than Light. We're gonna try to talk Doug into it, but um, uh, actually I might. Doug play. is the own FTL. Doug, no. you don't own FTL. I'm actually going to play FTL right now while we're playing the podcast. Um, you don't, dude, buy FTL, Doug. You will like FTL. Oh, he How would. much is it right now? It's $3. Doug, buy that game. Do it right now. I know you will like it. We can all start a run right now. Do you guys want to start a run? There's no argument that you will not like oh, that Oh, he, he would think it's very good. Um, but anyway, as I was saying... Uh, like those games are continuing to develop so the games continue to change so even though I don't have to buy a new game to still have new experiences there it is I've got it that was a single player game I've got FTL pulled up and I'm going to play it, it while we finish the podcast here so I I don't know if I need to buy another game I have 120 games in my library I have so many games that I haven't even I have all the episodes of the the telltale back to the future i have all the episodes of the walking dead um that i've never even touched i just i've got game i've got the wolf among us i've got all those telltale games i got in a bundle that i want to play really really bad that i haven't i haven't gotten to i want to put more time in city skylines i've only put 11 hours into that game oh wow another city does that have a multiplayer component no, I don't think. Let me look here. Single player, yeah. That's what it's missing. Cause I had SimCity. I'm a huge SimCity guy, and SimCity was cool. But when I bought, I bought it day it came out, and I ran into all the glitches, and yeah. it was a problem. And I stopped. It was really frustrating. So I quit. And then I was talking to a friend of the show, Eric Warner, and he bought City Skylines, and he was like, "Dude, you need to get that." That's the game to buy. That's that's the game to play. So I picked it up. It was on sale. Um, it's on sale right now for I think eleven bucks, twelve dollars. The deluxe edition is fifteen, um, but that gives you all the uh, I think it's all the DLCs. I'm not sure, but anyways, it is it is everything that SimCity was missing except for the multiplayer. I wish. Yeah, multiplayer. Yeah. I do too. I wish it did. If it did, I'd probably be more apt to to get into it because I, I just think that the idea of playing games with you guys and other you know other people, even the Gauntlet and the Rocket League that I play with other people, um, it it changes the dynamic of the game. I bet the next version of Cities has an has a multiplayer feature. Is there I, in my opinion, it's the one thing it's missing. Doug, you have that game. Do you like it? Doug. He, he's playing. He's playing. Um, Are you playing one? Cities? Do I like City Skyline? Yeah, you like that. Oh a lot, yeah, man. it's 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 awesome. It's uh, it's I think it's better than Sim City. I mean, it's just such a visually attractive game. Yeah, I mean, hard and to argue with that. I think you have more control over your um, as in design. You can do a lot. I mean. The, the ability to make your own overpasses and on ramps and design your own highway system is so yeah. great comparably to what SimCity offered where it was just on and off ramps. I mean, you can design your own four or five layered, you know, transfer, you know, like, uh, like getting from, if you live in Indiana, like 465 to 70 to 65, like that whole thing, like you, like five layer high transfers to different areas. Right. And the one thing I did notice though, that Are we play another game before we continue. What? I don't No, I thought we were just going to talk with steam sale. We've been going almost two hours. So, Oh, okay. I mean, um, 
we could break it up. But the one thing I noticed about cities is that it's very easy to keep things happy by just expanding. Like you can build a really good tight city, but to keep people happy, you could just keep going out and out and out and out and out and building like neighborhoods to like even out your happiness and stuff like that. So like you have a really good setup, but you need more business. So you build like another neighborhood that has more business in it than the other neighborhoods and it even set out and then something else goes down. So you just build out and out. You can manage by expanding and it's probably the cheap way out but it works. Well, I think I think so. what happens is, is is you get to a point where um, your urban, your your downtown cities are either too congested or too problematic. So you have to build deeper. Then you've got to hit that high density street, those high density buildings, and and grow that direction. Um, yeah. The other plus to um, cities, if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've played it, but. Um, can I show you guys any of the pictures of the cities that I did? No, I did, but you can. I think I have some screenshots on mine, but... If you drop um, them in Discord, I'll put them on the screen here. Yeah, let me see if I can find mine. Where did, Does it save your screenshots in... You can save your screenshots in your... It's on your profile, right? I don't have any idea. You can. You can. There they are. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Nothing. All my screenshots. I guess I only have two. I thought I did a lot more than that. I'm trying to remember uh, where the screenshots get stored. If you go to your profile, and then it shows you your screenshots along the right hand side there. If you go, like, refined evil up at the top, and then go to activity, or I'm sorry, profile, and then on the right hand column, there's games, inventory, screenshots, videos. Oh, uh, there they are. Okay. So that should show you there. Well, I've I've saved more, I think, offline than I have uh, actually to the the cloud or whatever it is through steam oh really i don't even know where to find where it saves i'm just your... trying to remember where my screenshots go <laughs> on my actual computer oh yeah but uh yeah so oh here are mine i've got a few um let me see if i can just toss that in there let's see zero zero four here's like one of my city Okay, I'm I'm currently beating a rebel ship, and once, oh, I got I got some I got a fire in the shields room. Okay, you get out of there. We'll send you in there. There's a bigger Actually, one. Actually, you just Good. come out of there. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna open the doors. There you go. So there, um, there's a couple of. I don't know how much further I played into it after those but okay well give me one second okay i blew that guy up when my ship is regaining its oxygen i will take a look at him here contact the civilian ship there we go i'm doing really good here I'm man always... i got all kinds of fish i got all kinds of uh, shots of my big catches from fishing planet though <laughs> As you should, as you Some should. Some good Fallout 4 screenshots as well. So, but those two, Doug, if you're in Discord, you could see the, the shots of mine. Okay. That. Bring this over here and open it up. Oh, other, other side, please. Come on, come over here. There we go. Can I zoom in? You can click on them. Okay, now switch over to okay. monitor capture. There we go. So that's one of Mikey's cities there. It's kind of blurry when I blow it up that big. I see your uh, your your sewage dump right there. On, yeah. Right by the highway. Welcome to town. All, I put it all on that on that uh, 
an island out there. So I was trying to put it on the uh, the far side, so it was trying to swoop it away from the city, but uh, didn't work out very well. The stream of the the water coming into that bay that was, was not warm. very good. Let's grab another one here. Hey, this is a nice one. Make it a little Which larger. one are you looking at now? The the, real... the island, the to the 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 big the far pan out with the giant okay. cities. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm not looking. So, at it. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, I started. You can see where my downtown is. That's in the top center. Oh um, yeah, way back that's, here. Yeah, that's where I've started, and then yeah. I expanded out from there, and then the suburb built over to the uh, to the left side there. Along the that river. Came yeah, that came in after. Well, that came in, and then up above the downtown area came in, and then I started moving across the river there to to this other little expansion. Yeah, and you can definitely see the pollution there along the yeah, river that's, front. Yeah, that's where I throw all of it at. Like that was like an industrial island, basically, is what it turned out to be. Should have been like a posh, I, like a wealthy I start, island. That's what that's what I started with, but it wasn't selling very well. So I switched it to industrial, and then it took off. That's right. I'm looking at this interchange you have coming across here. What's so there's there's a it's which like, one in the center? That's right in the almost right to the center. So I see the main highway comes in, yeah. bows around, comes back out. Uh, you have coming part of your bridges here. Your your that bridge crosses over because you can't because of that main highway it's either on or off ramps you can't okay. you can't put us like a stoplight on it so you did your so, own and off ramps way back here at the curve and then just wrapped all the way around right so it gets congested i couldn't figure out a better way to do it because to get people on and off i, I put it north of that and then they have to cut across if they want to get into that city that's right there along the the part that's in the lower right hand corner yeah um, i see that so there is some congestion right there what i probably need to do now that i'm looking at it from this angle is make maybe create another bridge that comes off of that city and cuts up around that island the the lower part of the city there maybe do a bridge off of that in that connects up on the other side of that island okay yeah i see what you're saying or maybe do a bridge that I don't know, cuts around, but um, yeah. So it uh, it's fun. It's a great game. I want to play it right now. Now that I've talked about it so much and I haven't touched it in so long, I'll probably just start a new city. There you go. But uh, yeah. What what happens is you have to purchase the additional land, but it's there it's pretty it's pretty easy to to go out. So oh, it's just refried evils. Yeah. Wow. Is that the CN Tower? No, that's a uh, custom one that I downloaded. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm bringing it up now. So, some Doug. Can... Yeah, that's a. That's a. That's a. Doug didn't take the expanse like I did. <laughs> Doug just did a good job of managing his city. What it's... map is that? I think it's called Atlantis or something like that. Is it a DLC map? No, and it's just one I got from a mod. So did that breakaway bridge coming into it? Is that what what was there when you when you showed up? No, I did all of that. So where is the main? Did you tear down the main highway? Oh, I see it. It's in the back, isn't it? I see it along the outside edge there. The right on the right. Is that a cruise ship coming in on the left? Probably. No, those are wind turbines, oh. or your wave, your river turbines. I don't know. It's hard to. It's, it's for I, power. When I blow it up, it gets a little. There's one that's pixelated. a little closer up. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, I love the um, what's that called? When it does the shift. In the, I can't think of the word. When it does a, the what? tilt shift when it does that like tilt shift style to make it look like things are miniature but they're big kind of thing uh, 
Those yeah, those are things. those are uh, windmills, Ryan, off on the left hand side of the one far out screenshot. I can't. They're like windmill, and then they do, but they have to go in the water, so it's like a turb, like a wave turbine windmill thing. There we go. I was I was going through like all my images on my desktop. So everyone... Okay, yeah, that's that's that is a neat looking shot. It does look like a little model almost, doesn't it? Yeah. That building right there in the front looks cool. I don't own any of the... Yeah, I went and just downloaded a whole bunch of, like, futuristic uh, building upgrade styles. Oh. I don't own the deluxe upgrade pack. What is that? I didn't buy any of that stuff. That's just all free mods. Yeah. That's pretty good, dude. Hmm. I don't know what the deluxe upper... Uh, there's a problem with Steam with that, where it's like... It shows I own the game, okay? But the deluxe edition is fifteen ninety nine, but the deluxe upgrade pack is $4, but I don't know what it includes. Like... Nowhere on this page does it tell me what the upgrade pack includes. It's not the DLCs because the DLCs are 974 and 749. Right. Here we go. It's way down on the screen. So the Deluxe Edition, including the Deluxe Edition, are five in-game historical monuments around the world. The game's original soundtrack, as well as a digital art book. So five in-game items include Satchel of Liberty, Eiffel Tower, Brandenburg Gate, Arc de Triomphe, and uh, Grand Central Terminal. So that's not, if, that, if that's all it gives you. The soundtrack might be cool to have. Does it have a pretty good soundtrack? Yeah. I mean, it's very Sim-esque, very monumental city, mute piano, you know, like, um, what's the, what's the composer that did, uh, I can't think of his name now. Oh, very, no. what am I thinking of, Doug? You know what I'm thinking of. What's the composer that did the, like, the New York song? Gershwin? Yes. There, there you go. go. There's, there's a nice little screenshot for you. What is that? Master of Orion. Oh. Fleet. Moving in. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Did you pull that one up, Brian? Not yet. Uh, I was... Had to, had to had to make a shady deal with a slaver because I lost my pilot. So yeah. Okay, I'm pausing that. Bring us. Oh wow. Looks really good. I know Ryan is just getting better and better looking. I think. Yeah, I haven't played it in a few weeks. I started to play a little game today. Right there it is. So these custom built ships. What race is this? Those are humans. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they've upgraded any skins for any ships, given additional uh, options. I have to say the Dar the Darlock ships are the ones that I like the most uh, thus far. Mhm. Mm um, cool. and I just read that they did a big AI patch on the Orion. Um, updated a lot of the a lot of the race abilities and balance the game a little bit so yeah I, they definitely changed up the abilities quite a bit they you can't do some of the broken uh, the broken things that you could in the past with the mixing and the matching of the the benefits and the penalties I mean which I mean I never did that but I understand you did Yes, I did. <laughs> it's not What's a benefit that? if you don't take advantage of it, right? 
Yeah. So I, I looked, I was looking before I started playing FTL here while we were talking about um, what kind of impact do you guys think that the Steam sale in general has on just uh, the virtual economy, essentially, that is video games? Um, what sort of impact? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I don't I mean, know I, what their normal sales are compared yeah. to what they get during the sale time, you know? Well, Mike and I were talking a little bit about a company who was releasing a game called Orion. Um, the, not our Orion, but uh, um, a different game was doing a, uh, like a dinosaur shooter whose game was taken off of Steam. Did you see this, Doug? Mm-mm. Yeah, its game was taken off of Steam because uh, it was found to contain, it got a, like a cease and disorder, or cease and, what's it called? Assist. Cease, cease and, and assist. Desist. Um, desist. Desist. Um, from Ubisoft because it said it was using some of the assets from their games. And uh, sort of comedically, at least I thought it was kind of funny, they, the, 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 the developer, the small indie developer, got on Reddit to try to, to try to, you know, take down the big business and, and rally up support behind their game to get Steam to put, greenlight it back again or bring it back on, and Redditors just tore it a tore it up. Um, they found all kinds of inconsistencies and and um, all all kinds of instances of these guys actually stealing assets from lots of games and it really sort of backfired on them in a positive way I think not positive for them but positive for just video game community in general I think right what did uh what did you use to mod um cities with Doug did you are you using a modding like program uh I just uh, got the assets and put them in there. Oh, it just told you what to do? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Because I was looking, I'm trying to look at my, because uh, I use, um, there's a modding software that you can use to put on all the mods for um, like Skyrim and stuff like that. I'm not sure if it has cities as an option because it does a bunch of different games for you. And you can find all of the mods for them through their program, Nexus Mod Manager. Um, but it will pulls all your different games and it doesn't yeah it doesn't list list uh, cities. Has Fallout Three, Fallout Four, New Vegas, Morrowind, Skyrim is, are the games that it has for me. Now I have not messed with mods at all really on any of the games that I'm currently playing. But yeah. I think that um, Steam actually makes modding pretty, pretty simple. Yeah. Which I, I mean, I just loaded up a game here and city's game, and my whole town is without water. <laughs> I'm not sure why, because there is water readily available flowing through the entirety of the city. So let's see, let's see if we can see that. Let's let's. See what are you are you gonna try and view his game while yeah. you're streaming? Yeah. That's, that's gonna be It's gonna be great. I don't know what you're talking about. How can uh, you do that? Broadcast, man. I'm gonna view your broadcast. I'm gonna view your broadcast. Let me view your broadcast. Yeah, Doug. Share. Share, share what you're How doing. Broadcast? Watch um, game. There you go. You're gonna receive a uh, thing. Are you in, are you doing it too? Yeah. Let's see what happens. Did you get a pop up saying people want to watch you, Douglas? Do it again. I'm doing it. It says waiting for a response from D Hyatt. It might be a like a chat thing. Do it again. Cancel your other one and do it again. I I can't can't I don't know how to cancel it. Yeah, just back out of it. It popped up, and then when I tapped out to do it, it vanished. So yeah, I, I sent mine. Yeah, I didn't get anything. 
join. You, you can hit shift tab and then go back and look at that stuff. Yeah, I. There we go. Uh, let's see here. What did you click? Join game. What did get? What option did I give you? There you go. Nothing. I put friends can watch my game. <laughs> Doug Hyatt's broadcast is not available at this time. I'll try again. Doug Hyatt's broadcast. Oh, it's because I'm not your friend, isn't it? Yeah, you are. I understand, Doug. It's fine. You're not friend. You guys are friends, yeah, right? Friends. Must not be friends. Yeah, you should be. Watch try it again. Are you watching, Mike? It says you were. I am. It's not. It's still loading. Mine says broadcast not available at this time. Is it because you're watching? Can only one person watch at a time? I don't know. But no, I'm watching it. I'm watching right along here. Oh wait, wait. I got something over here. What's this? I just do not understand. Okay, I'm I have no lot. money for some reason. Oh, I put I put on infinite money. Evidently, I was just doing a build on this town. Uh huh. Uh huh. Cheater. Understand. <laughs> loading, loading. What, there we go. What was really hard for me is playing oh, Sim, yeah. playing Sim City compared to this game. The some of the shortcuts are like backwards. So like to right click to move or to left click to select and stuff like that. Like it's backwards in Sim City than what it is in Cities. And so when you when I was kind of jumping between both games it got really hard to remember what I was doing and I screwed up a lot of stuff by clicking the wrong thing. Yeah. Bagshot Row, huh? Did yep. you name that? Yep. Do they have golf courses? No, it's after Lord of the Rings. After I know, the Shire. Make yeah. a good golf make a good golf course. Look at those roads out there. I know. That is a huge interchange. Where's... Yeah. Is it is it popping up with Water problems for you guys? Well, yeah, yeah, we're watching the same thing you're saying, man. We're just... <laughs> I do not, I cannot figure out. All my pumping stations, they're they're. Are you over power? And there's water flowing on the map. Yeah. Through every. That's weird. That's, like, is it? Is the water bad? Are your pumping stations downstream of your sewage? No. That's what it looks like because they're like reddish. Well, now they are because the people are about to revolt. Yeah. I've got plenty of clean water availability. Where are your sewers at? Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, everything is functioning normally. Everything is functioning normally, sir. I don't know what the problem would be. Huh. It says, why are you building canals? I'm just curious how far behind we actually are. Do I've got the game paused. Oh. So. <laughs> well, no, that, I mean. Well, he's still scrolling. Did you just click on landscaping? Yeah, I did. Just really? a little bit ago. Oh. A little bit ago. Well, we need to, to, say, like, say what you're doing. We want to see I just point. unpause the game. I'm looking around, still trying to figure out. Getting ready to click on my water management. Okay. Waiting for him to click on I water pause management. pause the game again. Game's not paused yet. There's water, water management. management. So We're this... about 10 seconds behind. That's not bad. Not for a game like this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Huh. It's better than me playing uh, faster than light, I guess, by myself. So what do you... Are you going to... Are you just going to delete it, blow it up? Hey, you have... Well, your, one, your one water line isn't connected there. Oh, is that a sewer line? That's a sewer line. Yeah, it's saying water and sewage both, but there's clearly water flowing. If there was an access... It I would wouldn't. be white. It would be yeah. white instead of blue. Yeah, there's there is access to every part of the city. Now you guys are seeing what we're seeing, so if you can figure out what's wrong with Doug's water, leave it in the comments down below. <laughs> you were you were prepared to grow there. <laughs> well, 
Well, he's got infinite money, so he just ran it. Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. You should start uh, a new. I don't one. know. I'm gonna quit the city. Quit it. You don't need to be their mayor anymore. They don't deserve you. I'll load a different game. I don't... It's a good game, Ryan. You should. It's I'll worth load, twelve bucks. I'll load the Atlantis map and see. I was just trying to do some interesting builds. That's. Oh, Atlantis part... got bigger than that screenshot. <laughs> Part of it is just, for me, I just like to see the neat little buildings, you know, that you can do with it and uh, the aesthetic look of it, really, even yeah. more so the, the, the city management. That's the yeah. um, that's the Caesar 3 in us, isn't it? Didn't Caesar 3 used to do that? Like the oh, movie? Caesar 3 was so good. There that was go. such a good game. Atlantis is the same deal. Hissing Water. Must be one of your mods that you put on there. Yeah. Oh, it hasn't done it for us yet, but I believe you. There it is. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it has to be. There's something wrong with the mod that's broken or somehow. You've got some, like, uh, give everybody water mod that uh, isn't working anymore. <laughs> that is a cool map, though. It's terrifying. Can you imagine living on that city? Well, you know, it is Atlantis. So this is eventually uh, what happened. The, you remember how to do the screen orientation? Look at your bridges. Right click, uh, hold, uh, right click, and that will shift the level. Right. It'll take you a minute. You gotta wait for the lag to no, get to. I'm not. I'm not getting any thing with right click. Hold right click and move the mouse. That doesn't do it. Or left, hold left click. No. Shift. Just punch it. Are you talking about tilting the camera? No, I'm talking about changing your screen orientation. He, he, he wants to look towards the front. Moving. He wants to rotate around so he's looking at the front. such a long time I thought it was hold right or left click I'll just look uh, to be honest guys I think we could probably wrap this up yeah um, go ahead if you want to uh, if you uh, want to follow more of us you can do so uh, by following us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Buffalo Brotherhood um, <laughs> he figured it out you you can tweet Doug pictures of your Skyline Cities at uh, Refried Evil. You can tweet uh, Mikey at FooMan2. You can tweet me at Buffalo Cast. You saw all of our oh, okay. Sorry. You saw all of our Steam usernames uh, <laughs> throughout throughout the episode tonight. So, uh, Addis's friends. Addis's friends. Maybe next time we play golf with friends, we can get a full twelve there of you go. guys, uh, which would be a lot of fun. So, um. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give us some feedback on what we could do better or uh, what you enjoyed. Maybe nothing. Maybe we did everything perfectly. It is completely yeah. possible. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, uh, that's all I got to say. Stay tuned for the forest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, thanks, Mike. You suck. <laughs> Look, I need to get rid of that chat. Here we go. It's gone. It's not going to happen anymore. Uh, thank you guys again. Uh, have a great day. And we'll see you next week. Bye.